Hello everyone, welcome to the series on design patterns. In this video, we are going to look into the simplest of all the design patterns, the singleton pattern. I am your host Anil Gurundapalli and I am a full stack developer. Singleton pattern is just a way of creating an object which can be shared globally with all the resources of that application without losing the data inside this object. The reason why it is called singleton is at any given point of time we can only create one instance of this particular class. So this is called a singleton. To better understand the singleton pattern, let's take a look at an example. Well, let's create a counter class which has four methods. Before that, let's initialize count equal to zero. Okay, then we are going to create a counter. This is the class name and it has the first method increment. Okay, uh, so I increase meant which is to increase the count value okay so let's do it count plus plus and we have another method called decrement and we will decrement the count okay the next one is get count sorry my github copilot is working with me so which will just return the count the current count value and another one is get instance which will return the instance of the current instance. Okay, let's uh, return what will just return this. Right, so yeah, our class is ready now. Okay, now let's consume our counter class and see whether it satisfies the singleton pattern criteria or not. So for that, what we'll do is we'll create a constant counter one and uh, we'll say uh, like instantiate it counter one and we have another thing or another counter called counter two and we also inst instantiate it again and what we'll do is we'll just uh, log it okay console.log and what we'll do is we'll check whether counter one instance is equal to the counter two instance if that satisfies then it satisfies the singleton pattern criteria else it is not satisfying the single singleton pattern criteria okay so counter one dot get instance okay equal to counter two dot get instance right so let's run now okay so what we'll do is node singleton dot js okay so what it is saying is it is saying false so that means this class is not satisfying the singleton pattern criteria as we discussed so at any given point of time at uh, any given point of time we should we should only have one instance right only have one instance of the class but here we are using new two times it means we are creating so this is creating one instance so this is one instance and this one is another instance second instance so which is not satisfying the singleton pattern pattern criteria okay uh, so in order to make this work in a singleton pattern let's change a class a bit so that it satisfies the our singleton pattern criteria okay in order to make this singleton let's go up and create one instance variable say let instance okay we'll not assign anything to this and we'll go we'll create a count a constructor for this constructor and um, inside the constructor we'll check whether if there is an if there is already existing instance okay so instance if there is an instance then what we'll do is we'll just throw a an error okay console dot error then here we we'll say that uh, instance already created instance already created okay let me close this instance already created if not what we'll do is we'll 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 make this instance to this count okay we'll create this as an instance uh, now done so now let's uh, let's go down and check for the same whether we have the same instance or not so for that we'll open our terminal 
and run the query one more time so it is throwing an error saying that instance already exists so hence uh, we cannot call the we cannot call new two times because the first time when we call it it has instantiated this uh this it has created an instance already but when we are trying to create one more instance it is throwing the error saying that instance already exists so you cannot use like this perfect now we are not able to create multiple instances anymore uh let's clean up this code a bit okay let's go and clean up this uh and what we'll do is now uh, we'll just uh create a constant singleton counter which is like will instantiate now well uh before exporting the counter instance let's freeze it as well okay for that what we'll do is we'll just uh, use this object dot freeze method uh let me close this uh, object dot freeze method to freeze the object which makes sure that the consumer consuming code cannot modify the singleton counter okay let's export sorry let's export default singleton okay so the instance uh, on the frozen uh, the sorry the frozen instance cannot be modified means which reduces the risk which reduces the risk reduces the risk of overwriting of overwriting the values in the object uh, perfect uh, now we have created our singleton counter singleton counter so what we'll do is let's consume this okay for that we'll create two objects count uh, const so let it cast as user one which is equal to we already create our singleton counter right so let's get the instance of this one so get instance so we'll say const user two we'll have the same we'll get also get the instance for two this two so now what we'll do is we'll just uh, log it whether both are same or not so user one and user two the output should be same because as this is a singleton pattern right and uh, we'll do another one more round so let it let us name this as test one okay so make it as uh, test one okay so and what we'll do what we'll do is again we'll increment our first user dot increment okay and um, so and what we'll do is we'll log so we'll see like what is the count for this one user two dot count the output should be one as here the count is the count is one sorry count is zero as we instantiated already zero to this so now the output should be one okay and uh, after this so user two dot increment and after that user one dot increment okay so user one dot decrement will do it then it should st it should remain one okay so then here we'll log uh not that console log test two test three is like user user one will make it user one dot count here the output should be increment one and increment two that output should be two okay let's check this by running our uh node no dot singleton dot js oops it's throwing the eslin module package error so i think this is something related to export okay so what we'll do is we'll just comment out this one as both are on the same page the consuming part is also on the same file so let's comment this okay and it will clean this up and try one more time okay awesome see the both instances are same hence it's it's following the singleton pattern yeah so this the output should be one um my mistake yeah here we increment it so it is one and another increment it becomes two here and we decrement it the output should be one okay let's close our uh, video on a good note so let's look into the applications of of singleton pattern singleton pattern the first one if you are aware of if you're working on that like any object oriented programming like c sharp 
okay you will be seeing uh, sing, uh, you will be seeing this dependency injection okay which has this singleton pattern pattern and the second one is uh, logo okay so if you have any application if you have in your application if you have anything logo then there we should use a singleton pattern right and the third one is uh, so some in database uh, configurations okay in db configurations uh, we use singleton pattern to do that connection string all this stuff initial connection string the stuff that that's a place where you use the singleton pattern and uh, fourth one is uh, some caching in caching we use singleton okay and uh, another like if you want to see look into this uh, real world applications uh, where with the interfaces of hardware and soft hardware hardware interfaces follows this uh, singleton pattern uh, example you see uh, any uh, this rocket rocket system okay so when one operation is getting performed other operations will be on hold see because it's a is a single object like only uh, suppose if there are two people in the ship in the rocket ship only one can perform one operation okay only one can perform the operation once the first person completes this operation then the second person can uh, start uh, working on this operation okay and another thing is sixth one we can say it as uh, uh, what is that printer okay printer is one good, one good example of singleton so in an office space if you have only one printer which will be accessed by different n number of employees okay n number of employees so only once uh, only the first person completes his job then only per second person can access it the printer can print only one page at a time okay i hope you got some knowledge on singleton pattern let's meet in another design pattern session thank you